Welcome to this video about Mirror 42 and KPI Library Solution for ServiceNow KPI scorecards and dashboards to help you improve the performance of your IT organization. The solution that we provide is fully complementary to the existing ServiceNow functionality. ServiceNow already has great reporting functionality. What we add to that is the ability to set targets and to see how your metrics have evolved over time, maintaining a full historic perspective over all your metrics. The system also allows you not only to set targets, but also create new metrics and do calculations with formulas, allowing you to do build predictive analytics. Our customers see great ROIs. The solution is deployed in a matter of weeks and one of our customers recently said that he saw a 60% reduction in the number of open incidents uh, in two months, uh, which obviously is a great result. And if you translate to business benefits, uh, this, is, this means a great return on investment. Now, what I want to do today is give you a brief overview of what the solution uh, provides. The solution consists mainly out of two parts, scorecards and dashboards. The third part is messages, which allows you to communicate with your team members about key performance indicators and what is happening in the organization. The key indicators of the system uh, are provided to you in ways of scorecards. You can see the typical color coding, whether you're below or above target, if a target has been set. Uh, green is above, red is below, orange is close to your target. You can see the historic perspective, you know, the trend line of how these indicators have evolved throughout time. And if you click on a particular indicator, you can zoom in on this underlying detailed scorecard. And zoom in on, the, for instance, the last seven days, turn it into a bar chart, or you know, move in and drill down this particular indicator, the number of open incidents per uh, assignment group incident state or priority. And you can zoom in further, for instance, on the end user computing group and look at the information uh, related to the last seven days. You can also then even further analyze this information uh, using standard analytical functions like running averages and sums um, that you can easily set up for your indicators. Scorecards can be saved as PDF and printed uh, you can draw in trend lines, confidence band, etc. So this is the basic functionality that is being delivered to you out of the box. What is also being delivered to you is a set of dashboards. Um, and the dashboards are visualizations of the key performance indicator data. For almost every process in ServiceNow, we've set up a different dashboard. We've also set up dashboards that look at it from a uh, more balanced view, a balanced scorecard view, which is availability of IT, customer perspective, the workload, and the process quality, um, and analyze the key performance indicators from that perspective. For this particular video, I'm going to focus on incident management. The incident management dashboard is the first dashboard that we typically deploy. It provides 15 key performance indicators, and from, from a dashboard, again, you can easily click on the graph or click on the portlet and zoom in uh, on the information, uh, navigate the breakdowns and the aggregates as we've seen. As you can see, there are many ways to visualize data. Um, we've chosen a default visualization for you, but you can alter and change that if you wish. One of the things you can do with the historic information is start analyzing that and extrapolate it to the future, so-called predictive analytics. For one particular customer, we answered the question, how much staff do I need in order to realistically uh, try to reduce my backlog with 50% in the next two weeks? And we've t taken all this historic information and we calculated that he actually should think about five and a half new staff members realistically if he wanted to hit that target. These are the typical things that you can do uh, with historic information. You know where you're coming from, and you can calculate where you want to be and, and how much effort you need to do you need to take in order to get there. 
As I said in the introduction, we complement ServiceNow. We're not going to replace and give you another reporting engine. We can even actually launch from a dashboard directly into ServiceNow and update the tickets. For instance, the open incidents at risk with the critical, critical priority, as you can see here. So the information becomes actionable. You can see which of the indicators are at risk. You can you know, directly launch ServiceNow uh, and update the tickets. Uh, that that need to need need work. You can also we can also embed all the service now existing reports, scheduled reports, or the reports that you've already built in service now. And you can relate them to dashboards and launch them from dashboards. Now the beauty of this solution is not only that you can have a historic view and set targets and distribute the information and share it with your team members, but you also also can download our mobile apps um, and have this information at your fingertips each morning when you wake up you flip out your phone and before you hit the office you're already fully up to speed there's no custom coding for the apps to work uh, they'll produce all the same information that you'll find in the detailed scorecard building dashboards is really easy we've got tons of visualizations to choose from um, and it's just really point and click so some of the visualizations that are available to you are, you know, compare charts, bar charts, area charts, uh, you name it, stack bars, line charts, uh, scorecard tables. Um, and if you wanted to you know, change a dashboard, uh, you simply go in edit mode if you have the rights, you hit add content, uh, you select an indicator uh, to be put on the dashboard. Uh, once you've defined your indicator, you choose you know, the way you would like to visualize the data and then it's there and if I wanted to drag this around and place it somewhere else on the dashboard I can once you're done you hit done and you can then hit share and invite and share your dashboard with different team members for now this is it if you want to see an in-depth uh, demo uh, we'd be happy to provide you one go to www.mirror42.com and choose contact sales from the um, from the menu and we'll get back to you and schedule an in-depth demo thank you